Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to touch base with you all before Christmas. This will be my last video before Christmas and I just wanted to send lots of love and I hope that you enjoy your Christmas wherever you are in the world. I know that I have a lot of fellow expats who watch my channel and I understand that the Christmas period can be very bittersweet for us expats when you want to be in two places at once. I would love to be spending it with my family in New Zealand, but on the other hand, Christmas in Germany is just so magical, especially now that I have children and it is quite hard to feel sad during this time when I see the joy and excitement on my children's faces. I love Christmas in Germany. I love the Christmas lead up. This year has been amazing. We've had snow almost every day for the last few weeks, which for me as a New Zealand who grew up celebrating Christmas in the middle of summertime. This is like a dream come true. A white Christmas, who knows if we'll have a white Christmas, but the Christmas lead up is certainly very, very festive. And even though we celebrate Christmas in New Zealand in the middle of summertime, we still sing all of the festive winter Christmas songs, which is so funny when I think about it. We've been to a couple of Christmas markets in our area, which were absolutely magical. And the kids were so excited. Obviously due to the pandemic Christmas markets were cancelled for the last like three years it was an absolute tragedy so so sad Matteo couldn't even remember what Christmas markets were that's how long it had been since we had been able to experience one and oh my goodness the kids had so much fun and so did I I actually made a video last year talking about how my multicultural family celebrate Christmas so I'm going to link that below if you're interested but I have to say I have embraced Christmas in Germany. I really, really have, but there's something that I just will never ever get used to. That is celebrating Christmas on the 24th of December on Christmas Eve and having a Christmas Eve dinner as the main Christmas celebration. Because in New Zealand, our main Christmas celebration is Christmas lunch on the 25th and as much as I love the Christmas Eve meal and spending time with my family around the dinner table and all of that, I always find myself feeling a little bit disappointed when I wake up on the 25th and I realize Christmas is kind of over, like the main celebration is kind of over. Because in New Zealand, we make a whole day of it. I know that many other New Zealanders celebrate in a similar way. And my family mostly always celebrate outside because obviously it's summertime the weather is beautiful and you want to be enjoying the beautiful summer weather and so all of my family and extended family come over everyone contributes as far as the cooking so it's not super stressful in New Zealand we call it a potluck dinner or a potluck lunch where everybody brings something and there's just so much delicious food and like a wide variety of delicious food and celebrations just last all day up until the evening so that's how I grew up celebrating Christmas and it's amazing. I love celebrating Christmas in the summertime in New Zealand. So here in Germany, I've tried my best to kind of bring little aspects of my Kiwi Christmas to Germany, to our German Christmas, so my kids can experience a little bit of Kiwi culture. But honestly, it's not that easy when you are celebrating Christmas in the middle of winter. And so you really, really get wrapped up in this whole German Christmas atmosphere, which is amazing, like it is one Wonderful. But it is hard to combine the New Zealand and the Kiwi Christmas because they are just so so different and Having a winter Christmas, it just changes the whole atmosphere and it's really nice having a cozy meal in the evening on Christmas Eve when it's just freezing outside and I love that but you know Christmas Day, that's what I miss. I miss Christmas Day in the sunshine oh well I can't have everything can I so as I talked about in the other video what we do on the 24th in the evening the children will open presents from family so they will open presents from Omar and Opa and their aunt and a few presents from us and that's what they do on Christmas Eve and then on Christmas morning they will open all of their presents from Father Christmas Santa and so I always let Santa know that my kids are New Zealanders 
are half New Zealanders and so they would like to have their presents delivered on the evening of the 24th so they can open them up on the 25th in the morning. So they get so excited waking up on the 25th of December and opening their presents in the morning in their pyjamas and that's what I did as a kid and so I'm happy about that, that they get to experience a little bit of a Kiwi Christmas in that sense. It's just after that, you know, the celebration doesn't really continue on. We'll eat leftovers from our Christmas Eve meal because there's always so much food. Oh my goodness, my mother-in-law is an incredible cook and there's always so much food. We'll celebrate with Rob's family the next day, but it's usually just, you know, eating leftovers and just hanging out and it's still really, really lovely. It's just different and I just, I will never get used to the 25th not being an entire day of celebration. But anyway, I'm not complaining because Christmas in Germany is always just such a happy, magical time for us as a family. And I love seeing my kids just so excited and enthusiastic about Christmas here and all of their little German Christmas traditions, Polish Christmas traditions from Rob's side of the family. And then there are my Kiwi Christmas traditions thrown in there and my kids think it is amazing. And that brings me joy. That brings me so much joy. So anyway guys, to end this video, I've got something a little bit fun and festive for you all. I am going to be trying on a whole bunch of Christmas sort of New Year's outfits for you all. I got all of these outfits from Cupshe. Cupshe is an amazing online shop. They not only sell fabulous swimsuits, but they also sell all sorts of different clothing items. They have a lot of knitwear and dresses and accessories, all sorts of gorgeous things on the Cupshe website. I actually have a discount code for you too. If you use my discount code, you will receive 15% off your Cupshe order. So let's get into the outfit. So first up, this dress I call my winter wonderland dress. I feel like an ice queen end or something. It's giving me those kind of vibes. It's made from this really stretchy ribbed sweater material. So it's very warm and so, so comfortable. Oops, I forgot to cut off the tag. It's kind of hard to show you, but it comes to almost my ankle and it's got a split on one side. I also picked up this gorgeous kind of metallic-y champagne colored purse. You can take off the chain strap and wear it as a clutch. So it's very versatile, so cute. Oh my goodness. So this next dress I call my princess dress because it's giving me Kate Middleton vibes which is obviously a good thing. Maybe it's the colour. I just love this deep emerald green. It is so classy and elegant. I love the twist in the front. The fabric is quite stretchy, very comfortable. It also looks fabulous with this cute little clutch. I love this one. So I've paired this little high-waisted plaid skirt from Cupshe with a black mock neck top and black stockings. I'm really loving this look. It's a little bit preppy and even though the skirt is quite short, I still think it's a really classy look with the black stockings and the higher neckline. I love the fabric of the skirt. It's really high quality and just nice and thick and warm for winter. So last but not least is this really fun festive look. The champagne colored sequin skirt is amazing. It's such an eye catcher. I probably could have gone down one size, but I still think it works. I've paired the skirt with a black ribbed bodysuit from Cupshe. Oh my goodness, Cupshe have the best bodysuits. I love this one so much. And of course, the clutch. It is made for this outfit. This is such a fun look. Maybe I'll wear this outfit on New Year's Eve. What do you guys think? So anyway, guys, I'm gonna wrap this video up here let me know what you thought of the outfits your German honesty is always welcome within reason I also wanted to remind you that if you use my discount code you will receive 15% off your cup sheet order so go check out cup sheet they have some gorgeous outfits and swimsuits and all sorts of fabulous things I wanted to wish all of you a fantastic Christmas wherever you are in the world sending you lots of love and I will see you again really soon bye